Welcome back. Today we are going to learn about a new community violence prevention program that's starting in the downtown Fargo area called Green Dot. Joining us now are Rape and Abuse Crisis Center Prevention and Education Supervisor Susie Kramer Brenna and Public Educator Tama Poor. Welcome to the show, ladies. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Happy birthday, Heidi. Thank you so very much. Appreciate that. So let's start out with you, Susie. Tell us a little bit about Green Dot Violence. So thank you. Yes, Heidi. Um, Green Dot is a comprehensive violence prevention strategy that really depends on the power of bystanders to prevent interpersonal violence and then to shift the cultural and social norms upholding this violence. Green Dot sees our community members as potential active bystanders. So our program, which is a community program, is working to safely engage these community members in violence prevention, with the focus being the downtown Fargo area and community members being anyone who lives, who works or shops or goes to restaurants or bars, or really just spends time in downtown Fargo. So in this community Green Dot program, we're bringing information and training to individuals, to groups, to organizations. We're helping them to recognize what we call red dots, which are words or actions that hurt someone else. And teaching them to know how to use three Ds or positive steps for bystander intervention, because we know that with consistent use, these kinds of positive steps will reduce the amount of interpersonal violence in our downtown area. Well, it makes perfect sense. So Tama, tell us um, a little bit more about the three Ds. Sure, thank you. Okay, so the three Ds, um, what we recognize is we each have different comfort levels and personality styles. Thank goodness we're all a little different, right? Um, so we really try to be realistic and um, give some ideas. And one of the first approaches we look at is being direct. And it's just like it sounds. Uh, when you see a situation going on, um, if it's safe to do so, that's number one, um, you approach the individuals. You know, it might be as simple as, hey, do you need some help? Um, is there something we can do here? Um, if it's somebody being harmed, you might even ask them, hey, do you wanna walk with me? You know, is there something I can do? Um, so again, if you're not comfortable doing that because we're not all, you know, maybe you don't feel that safe, you know, safe or it's just not our personality. We have delegate and delegate is uh, maybe you see a group of their friends and maybe you approach them and say, hey, it looks like there's a situation going on here. Um, you know, or maybe if you're in a store, it's going to the store owner and um, mentioning your concern. A restaurant or a bar going to a bartender or um, the restaurant manager. Um, it's just getting that second help. If you're comfortable, if you feel like it's really dangerous, you could call law enforcement. But what we do in our trainings is look at um, some options. And then we have distract. And distract is um, really you don't, you're back, right? You see it going on. And it may be as if you see something going on in a parking lot, you could just lay on your horn, maybe set off your car alarm. Um, if you're in a restaurant, you could spill your drink. You're stopping things in that moment, right? To help it, prevent it from going on any further. And um, again, safety is number one. So we're each trying to just do, we have the capability of each of us doing something little, right? It's little steps. And if enough of us are doing it, it helps cut down that risk from you know, violence continuing in that moment. Oh, well, this sounds like a fantastic idea. I really, I think, I mean, it's something that I could feel comfortable you know, doing. I know other people might be a little bit more timid as far as that goes. So I think this program would be fantastic. I'm really excited to see this get rolling a little bit more. Um, so tell us then, Tama, if an individual or business um, wants to get associated with this downtown, how do they do that? Well, please, yeah, um, contact us at green dot, uh, at far, our, RACCFM com. Mm -hmm. So again, green dot at RACCFM com. And we also have an overview coming up and it's free on March 25th. That's Thursday, March 25th from 1 to 2.30. And did I mention it's free? Yeah, <laughs> and, virtu crazy. and virtual. 
And it's virtual too. It's virtual. So again, contact us through our email and um, we would glad, you know, it's just nice to all come together and practice too, different scenarios so we can get comfortable um, depending on your style. And we have a Facebook page too. If you would go and check us out there and that is green dot Fargo Moorhead. So if you're interested, um, and we also have our overview information on there too for the training. All right, thank you so very much. And just a repeat of, of when that session is gonna take place again. That's gonna be March 25th, that's on a Thursday from one to 2.30 and it's virtual. I love it. This is wonderful. This is so very important, ladies. Thank you so much, both of you for your time today. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, coming up to on today's show, the market is hot right now. We'll help you prepare to buy a new home with the experts at Western State Bank. <laughs>